hello this is Kara and I'm back with another Christmas in July video um I thought I videoed a bit more than I did of putting these together but what I've been working on is taking scrapbook paper that I've had in my stash that were leftovers from other journals I've made or other projects and some different vintage books and papers um uh, Kathy, what's her name? Hold anything? Yeah, the gal that does fabric also did paper. So I have some of those papers in here. So anyway, these are just journals that are using up uh, Christmas papers and different bits. And I used Reader's Digest, some Tim Holtz fabric on these two, and then some other fun fabric I had in my stash. And I have a ton of Christmas tags and ephemera that I've made over the last few years and they didn't have a journal for a home. So I thought I would add some different ephemera and tags to these journals. And then these are going to be listed on my, in my Etsy shop. All right, so I'm gonna go grab the ephemera and let's decorate. All right, I'm back. I have separated out the goodies that will go in each journal. I made a few things. Um, I made some pockets, really easy, just cut up some uh, cardstock. And then some of them, I added some embellishment, inked them. So those are ready to go. I also made, let's see, this little fold out. I think this will be a, like a side tuck here. And then this just opens for journaling. And then I made a little envelope. And then one of these side tucks. Um, I also made a couple of these little envelope tucks. And then a glassine bag. And I decorated them um, a little bit differently. All right, so let's start. Let's figure out pockets. These are pockets. This. This. This is a pocket. These might end up being pockets. This one. All right. <clears throat> So has a tuck. I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to glue the whole back on. I to do a side tuck. And for this one, whoa. I'm going to put the whole thing on. And then again, my thought for this journal would be a December daily or like a December planner kind of journal to get ready for Christmas. on the side. Kind of break up the white a little bit. And also come back and do some stamping or stenciling. There we go. 
add washi tape, all those things would be great. How many did I have? One, two, three, five. And I did, because I want to make sure it kind of spread them out. One, two, and I have five more. because it's a little bobbly and I think the top part coming off is kind of fun so I'll leave that. small side tucks. That'll be fun. We're just going to make a little thumb hole. It's a thumb hole. Thumb notch. This will be fun for itty bitty ephemera or tags. And then this blue background behind it. I'm gonna glue this whole thing down. Like that. This could be all glued down or you can make this a pocket with a little fold up. So this is a pocket and then this will flip up. And then also have a place for small ephemera. Perfect. And this is a little tuck right here.
Oops. This one here. This could be a side right here. I'm going to glue the whole thing down since it already has several pockets in it. Back because now it has a pocket on the top, right? Oh no, I didn't, I didn't cut it across. I thought I did. Okay, here we go. Now it's ready. Let's make the thumb notch a little bit bigger. go through and add the tags. Just get tucked in. We'll see. 
Oops. So I made these tags last year when I did the Tim Holtz and 25 Days of Christmas tags. I think that's pretty much where these are from. Figure something small out. We'll come back to that. This one. I don't want a bingo with a bingo. Way too big. And right here. Let me put this here. It's getting pretty chunky. Let's do the fabric. That. I think that's pretty good. Okay, and then, I don't know, several years ago I made these. I made a little charms and dangles. And so I'm going to add a couple, this one looks like it lost its dangly part. So we'll add these here. And I also have some of the postage ones I made. This could even be a Christmas idea journal. <laughs> By the time it's all done. All right, I think that is good for this one. I'm going to go get everything ready for the next one. All right, let's do the next one. And I do remember <laughs> I need to go back and fill those two um, side pockets, so I'll do that. 
Alright, so let's see. This and this. This one it also needs tags. This one I made last year. That's where I got the idea to make two more of those. This and this and this. Okay. I think will be perfect to go in there. How cute. It's going to need a little something. Loading pocket also. I do it. I was gonna say maybe it's a little too big, but let's go for it. Smush, smush. 
let's go to the second signature. That there.
thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you liked this kind of video where I was just kind of working through and commenting sometimes, but uh, just kind of watching to see my process. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's very different. I didn't edit a lot. I'm just curious to see what your thoughts are about it. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.